In the heart of Benin, a land stepped in history and mystery, lies the untold story of the mighty Daome Kingdom. Join me as I embark on an extraordinary journey, unraveling the hidden past and discovering the heritage of this remarkable land. For the past four years, I have had the privilege of immersing myself in the rich tapestry of Benin's history. While the tales of transatlantic slave trade have been widely shared, there's a chapter that remains shrouded in mystery, the era preceding this dark period. Before the arrival of the European powers and the tragic slave trade, the land we now know as Benin was a home to a powerful kingdom. The Daume kingdom flourished from 16th to 18th century under the rule of 12 remarkable kings. Legend has it that the kingship began with four siblings embarking on an epic journey across the treacherous lands, searching for a place they could finally call a home. Their quest led to establishment of the first kingdom in Port Novo, but it was under the fierce reign of King Uigbaja that boy Kong rose to prominence. Known for his his military prowess, he fought many battles, including a legendary clash with the Oyo Empire of Nigeria. During my journey to Boikon, I had the privilege of stepping into the footstep of history. Inside the palace, I beheld the wonders of the past. Palace, it, it, it is the palace of the kingdom of Baja, the creator of the kingdom. The first king of the Dao. first, yes, the first of Dao. The ancient artifact spoke volume about the grandeur and significance of the Daome kingdom. Even to this day, the people of Boyko maintain a deep connection to their ancestors. The ritual performed with unwavering devotion serves as a testament to their unbreakable bond with the past. The tomb where each king reigned over Boyko stand as a sanctuary of power and reverence. The surrounding scores of the ritual echoes the spirit of the past, ensuring the strength and protection of their successors. In each entrance, you have the hotel of each divinity. So if you are not a, a, a practitioner of a voodoo, you cannot enter inside. Okay, so mm -hmm. it's only some person that is practicing with you yes. that can enter these rooms. Yes, okay. Okay. I will now give you the name, the lies of the king. Okay. Firstly, for Ibaja. Mm. Is the first king? The first, yes. Okay. And Akaba. the second, it is Akaba. Akaba, the yes. second. King. The. The. Akaja. The. Uh, three. The third it, king? The, yes, it is uh, Angbe. Angbe. Angbe, yes. Tasi Angbe. Tasi Angbe, yes. Okay. Yes, uh, after Kinabab that, we, it is not here. Okay. Uh, but okay. after that, we have uh, Agaja. Mm -hmm. Agaja. Yes, Agaja. The fourth king. Yes, after Agaja, we have uh, Tegbesu. Tegbesu, the fifth king. Yes, after okay. Tegbesu, we have uh, Pengla. Pengla. The sixth king, Pengla. Yes, Pengla. Okay. Agonglo. 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 After Seven. Agonglo, we have uh, Agandosa. Agandosa. Agandosa is not here. Okay, okay. it is not here. Yes. Agandosa, mm -hmm. Gezo. Okay. Yes, so Blele, Beyonce, Agolia. Twelve. Okay. Agolia, okay. Agolia is the twelfth, the last yes, king. Yes, yes. Normally, it is a uh, fourteen. So okay. the two first king stayed in uh, Huawei in Boycott. Okay. They are called the Ganye Hersu and the uh, Dako Dolu. Okay. The the, the first. The, the, the first, two kings, Arabia. they are supposed two, to be fourteen. Uh, fourteen, yes. So the two kings, they stay in Boycott. In Boycott. In the annals of Daome history, the name King Akaba resounds with Ao. Legend has it that after a fruit fell upon his head, he caused a tree condemning it ever to bear fruit again. Today, that very tree still stands, a living testament to extraordinary power wielded by the kings of Daome. And you can eat this fruit. And when the, the king is, uh, was uh, listening here, one fruit uh, is uh, fallen on his head. And after that, the king Akaba said that uh, apart from this event, no fruit shall be So the was in the And after that, the king uh, these three did not, uh, not never give up. So he commanded you not to be afraid. Yes. As I concluded my journey through the corridors of time, I am reminded of the profound wisdom bestowed upon us by the people of Daome. The eyes of the beauty of the Republic. That kingdom is so special. 
just take a look at this piece of art calf here. All these things are so beautiful. Like Ramame. The existence of art is from Africa. I'm never going to be something, I'll be African. This is where we belong. Regardless of our chosen belief, we can pay tribute to the way of our ancestors. They used to represent the king. Okay, this is what they used to represent yes, the king. Embracing the interconnectedness of our shared humanity. It's been now uh, 50 years old. 50 years yes. old. Yes. Wow. This thing is crazy. This one? Yes. Sir, that's a divinity. The twins are divinity. The twins are divinity. Yes. The twins. divinity. Yes. Of the animals, animals that give birth to twins, this is their divinity. As a sea. It's just to say that they, are, they come from the, the same person. Okay, so they come, twins are person who came at the same, same time. time. So to say that they come here to us at the same time, but they, they don't have the same end. Okay, okay, yeah, they don't yes. have the same end. They, they come to this life the same time, yes. but they can't die together. My visit to this magnificent city was more than just capturing a video. It was a pilgrimage to honor the ways of the ancestors. This is water of purification. I'm purifying my life. Okay. To relive the stories and to share the true history of the Taome Kingdom with the world.